I am the Lord. There is no other God. Isaiah 45, 18. We pay a price for self-obsession. Let us talk about the price of self-obsession. Yahuwah God isn't pleased at being ignored. Romans 8, 8. Paul speaks of sinners when he describes those who knew God, but they wouldn't worship him as God. So God let them go ahead and do whatever shameful things their hearts desired. Romans 1, 21 and 24. You've seen the chaos. The husband ignoring his wife. The dictator murdering the millions. Grown men seducing young. The young propositioning the old. When you do what you want and I do what I want and no one gives a lick as to what Yahuwah God wants, humanity implodes. The infection of the person leads to the corruption of the populace. Extract God expect earthly chaos and many times worse expect eternal misery See? give all all your worries to him because he cares about you first peter 5 7 god has a great race for you to run under his care, you will go where you've never been and serve in ways you've never dreamed. But you have to drop some stuff. How can you share grace if you are full of guilt? How can you offer comfort if you are disheartened? How can you lift someone else's load if your arms are full with your own? For the sake of those you love, travel light. For the sake of the God you serve, travel light. For the sake of your own joy, travel light. There are certain weights in life you simply cannot carry. Your Lord, Yahuwah, is asking you to set them down and trust Him. See, watch and pray. He asks you to watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. Mark 14, 18. Watch. They don't come any more practical than that. Watch, stay alert, keep your eyes open. When you see sin coming, duck. When you anticipate an awkward encounter, turn around. When you sense temptation, go the other way. All Yahusha is saying is pay attention. See, you know your weaknesses. You also know the situations in which your weaknesses are most vulnerable. Stay out of those situations. 
back seats, late hours, movie theaters, whatever it is that gives Satan a foothold in your life. Stay away from it. Watch out. Pray. Prayer isn't telling Yahuwah anything new. There is not a sinner, not a saint, who would surprise him. What prayer does is invites him to walk the shadowy pathways of life with us. Prayer is asking Yahuwah to watch ahead for falling trees and tumbling boulders and to bring us the rear guarding our backside from the poison darts of the devil. Watch and pray. See, I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Yahusha, our Lord. Romans 8, 38 and 39. Do you realize the power and beauty of the passage I just read? Every one of the things mentioned is beyond our control. Can you stop your own death or create life for yourself? In a very limited fashion, maybe, but certainly not as Yahoo God can. Can you affect the paths of the purposes of the angels, principalities, or powers? No. Most of the time, you don't even perceive their activity. Not without the Lord Yahuwah revealing it to you. What about things to come? I think you'll agree how difficult it is to influence a future you cannot even foresee. The point is that you cannot control any of these things, but the Lord God, Yahuwah Almighty, the Sovereign of all that exists, can and does. And He has assured you that nothing not even things completely out of your control can separate you from his love, his power, and wisdom. Who his power and wisdom keep you absolutely secure. My hope is in Yahusha because his love is perfect and permanent. Father, thank you so much. So much is out of my control and I'm so grateful to know that you care for me so deeply and completely. And I thank you in the name of your Son, Yahushua.